in your notebook put the answers the first question what do you talk about with someone you don't know well what did you put in your notebook what do you talk about with someone you don't know well I talk about the weather about the day okay And what do you do when a conversation is going poorly? Maybe I ask questions about interest. Okay, okay. Excellent. Okay, open your page. What do you see in the picture? What do you see in the picture? The picture on the top. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Under the woman, do you see small talk? Small talk? You see that? Can you help me read small talk, please? It happens to everyone. Somebody introduces to a friend and then will tell you. Now you are standing with someone, somebody you don't know. What do you talk about? The weather is always a possibility, but there isn't always much to say. To make a conversation flow, it's better to ask questions. Ask, ask the other person what they do for a living and what their job involves. Discussing your own former job is a good option too. Other safe topics include your hometown and your education. But avoid asking people about their religion, about their religion, age, and marital, marital status until you know them better. Excellent reading. Okay, now in your notebook, put vocabulary. What's the first vocabulary in the text? Weather. Weather. Vocabulary for today, weather. Okay, what do you know about the weather? The weather is warm. Warm, okay, excellent. Cold. Warm. What else? Rainy. Rainy. Sunny. What else? Put this in your notebook. Weather, cold, warm, rainy, 
Sunny. What else? For the weather. Mm -hmm. If you want to talk about the weather. Snowy. Repeat. Snowy. Snowy. Cloudy. Cloudy. Okay. Snowy. Cloudy. Windy. 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 What else do you have there? Somebody's knocking on the door. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Look at this one. You said cloudy? Oh yeah. Cloudy. You said windy? Yeah. Windy? Sunny. Mm -hmm. Sunny. Yeah, oh yeah, we got sunny, snowy, cloudy, windy. We got rainy. What about like this one? It's cloudy. Mostly cloudy. Repeat. Mostly. Mostly cloudy. Cloudy. Or partly. Cloudy. You seen these before? Partly. Only part. Mostly. Most. Mostly cloudy, partly cloudy. Like this. Uh, partly cloudy. You can see the sun. Maybe like this. Mostly cloudy. Maybe like this. Uh, windy when you have a hurricane. So these are for the weather. Mm -hmm. You can talk about these with people you don't know, like your clients, for example. Good? Okay, what's the next one? Snowy. Okay, flow is easy. It just means continue. You want the conversation to continue. The conversation to flow. To flow to continue. Next. Leaving. Leaving. But living is not only living. It says, ask the other person what they do for a living. Do for a living is the complete vocabulary. So put in your notebook, do for a living. This is the occupation or the job. Remember in the other class? Occupation, job, mm -hmm. in the other class, living, you're living. It's your occupation, your job. Next. Involves. Involves. What it's about. About. So in your notebook, put involves, about. Good. Next. Discussing. Discussing. Excellent. All right, let's put them all on the board. Well. 
present. Flow. Living. Discussing. In both. In both is with an E? Yeah. In both. Bob's discussion flow weather. Yeah. Oh yeah, do for a living. Next uh, topics. topics. Avoid. Avoid. Status. Marital status. Okay, what is avoid? What does that mean? Avoid. Okay. And what is marital status? Marital status. Your relation. Your what? Ah, relation. Yeah, excellent. Okay, any questions with the vocabularies? Okay, now we're going to read again where it says small talk. Mm -hmm. It happens to everyone. Somebody introduces to a friend and then it falls away. Now you are standing with somebody you don't know. What do you talk about? The weather is always a possibility, but there isn't always much to say. To make a conversation flow, it's better to ask questions. Ask the other person why they what they do for a living and what their job involves. Discussing your own former job is a good option too. Other safe topics include your hometown and your ed education. But avoid asking people about their religion, faith, and marital status until you don't know them better. Excellent. Repeat introduces. Introduces. Good. Now look at the reading section. Section two. Mm -hmm. Can you read the instructions for mm -hmm. section two? Read this abstract form, a blog, and then complete the table using information from the passage. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. When talking to someone you don't know in your notebook, put this phrase. Mm -hmm. When talking to someone you don't know. Number one, affirmative. Talk about weather. the weather. Excellent. What they do for a living. Okay. Number two, ask about what they do for a living. Good. And we have a little bit of help. What their job involves. Okay, repeat. When talking to someone you don't know, talk about... Complete. Talk about weather. Repeat. When talking to someone you don't know... Ah, when, talking to some, when talking to someone you don't know, talk about weather. Good. Repeat. When talking to someone you don't know, ask about? When talking to someone you don't know, ask about? Uh, uh, ask about? What they do for a living. What they do for a living. 
Repeat, when talking to someone you don't know. When talking about to someone you don't know. Ask, ask about, about. What their job is. What their job involves. Again, when talking to someone you don't know, discuss jobs you did in the past. Okay. What else can we discuss when talking to someone you don't know? Mm, topics include their hometown. Hometown. When talking to someone you don't know, discuss your education. Education. And when talking to someone you don't know, don't talk about religion. When talking to someone you don't know, don't talk about age. Age. When talking to someone you don't know, don't talk about marital. 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 Merit. Merit. All. Merit. All. Status. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, now from the top. When talking to someone you don't know, talk about, repeat. When talking to someone you don't know, talk about weather. Weather. Continue. When talking to someone you don't know, ask about what, what they do for a living. Do for, for a living. living. Good. When talking to someone you don't know, ask about what you what your job One job. How many jobs do you have? One. What their job involves. Repeat. What their job, job involves. Involves. Okay. When talking to someone you don't know, discuss jobs you did in the past. Jobs you did in the past. When talking to someone you don't know, discuss about hometown. About your hometown. About your hometown. Yes. When talking to someone you don't know, discuss your education. Okay. When talking to someone you don't know, don't talk about religion. When talking to someone you don't know, don't talk about age. And when talking to someone you don't know, don't talk about marriage. Oh. Marriage. Marital. Marital. Status. Good. Okay, so now give me a question with the weather. It says, talk about the weather. What is a good example with someone you don't know? When talking to someone you don't know. About the weather? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Today is a sunny. Or sunny. Oh, okay, like that? Hey, today was sunny. <laughs> like that? No. No? Do you have a better one? Uh, what do, hey, what do you think about the weather? Ah, uh, okay. Today was very sunny. What do you think? Good. Excellent. Next one says, ask about... 
what you do for a living, right? How do you ask about what you do for a living? Can you give me an example? In the morning, I go to the gym. Mm. No? This is not correct. Living is your job. It's, no it's your today. occupation. Ah, uh, no. No, it's a teacher. I'm a teacher. It's like, what do you do for a job? Is what they're asking you. What do you do for a job? For a living? Or for a job? For your occupation? So, how can you ask somebody? Mm. And the question for somebody, for another person? Mm. What do you do for a living? I mm. do events. Yeah. People say sometimes, actually all the time, people say, what do you do? That's it. What do you do? And they're asking you, what do you do for a living? But people don't say living. People just say, hey, and you? What do you do? And you, what do you do? What do you do? And they're asking you about your job. Okay, and then you say, I do events. And then what your job involves. What is events? Sometimes I do events. Okay. What do you do when you, for example, when you arrive? To work. Mm, you say, oh, okay. So you tell people, my job involves a lot of emails. What else? Planning. What? Planning or planning? Pa planning or oh, planning? Oh, I thought you said painting. Okay. Planning. And emails and um, ask questions. Ask questions. Time. Okay. What um, else? Check the the suppliers. The suppliers. Okay. Good. What else does your job involve? Okay, okay. Arrangement. Arrangement. Okay. Next, discuss the jobs you did in the past. First, we need the question. Can you make a question for this topic? What do you do with what? Did you do in the past? Okay. But this sounds a little like uh, like uh, my secrets. You want to know my secrets? What did you do? No, what did you do in the past jobs? Past jobs. Okay, good. Okay, you, what did you do in your past jobs? Mm. What jobs did you have in the past? Reception. Mm -hmm. mm. Exercise. Okay. Um, Receptionist, secretary. Uh -huh. mm. How do you say? Uh, 
Uh, you're the head captain. I mean, the head waitress. Head. 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 Like your head. Uh -huh. Head. Waitress. Waitress. Yeah. Or the supervisor waitress. Good. Yeah, waiter and girls, waitress. Okay, what is the next topic that we discuss? That we need to discuss. About hometown. Hometown. What is your hometown? Your hometown is when you were a little kid, when you were little. Mm -hmm. Where where did you live when you were little? Mm -hmm. I was born in Monterrey, but, but I live in different places. Where do you play with your friends? No, I live in different places. My father was military and I live in Yeah, but Alaska. But uh, when you when you play games, where do you live? What is the first one where you remember that you go to school? Mm, Puebla, maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure. Which one do you remember? Puebla. Your father, where is your father? Puebla. Right now? Uh, ah, no, like for two Oh, why do you say Puebla? Because my father was born. He's from Puebla? Maybe it's Puebla, your hometown. Where is your grandmother? Here, Luca. Here? And your grandfather? Mm, Guadalajara. And what is in Puebla? Why, why Poland then? Because I live from two to four here. Four. Two, three, and four? Mm -hmm. And then? How, how many years? How long? One. One? And so you're five? Okay. Next? To For how many years? Two. Two? Six and seven? And then? <laughs> Two years? No, one. I, I don't remember the question. One. one. And then? Mm. Mexico City. For how many years? Ten. Oh, Mexico City. You, no, have, you have the Mexico City accent. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Mexico City is your hometown. Oh, okay. No, but 10 years in Mexico City. In Mexico City, you go to school, right? Okay. Yeah. You have a boyfriend in Mexico City? Mm, yes. Ah, you see? Mexico City is your memories in Mexico City. So your hometown is Mexico City. Uh, in Monterrey, what is in Monterrey today? We have a house. Uh, no, nobody? nobody? Also, no. But you were born in Monterrey, you said, right? But nobody is in Monterrey? Nothing? No. Do you have a picture from Monterrey? Yes. Yes? Because we have a house. And we go no, picture from when you were a baby. Yes, in Monterrey. Oh, baby or plane? Baby. Oh, okay. Okay, Mexico City is your hometown. It's where you have your memories. Okay. What is the next topic? Education. Education. So what is the question? We need the question for education. Mm 
A good question. What do people ask? Hey, what is your education? People don't ask like this, right? Hometown, you can say, what is your hometown? Or where are you from? But for education, what is a good question? No, people say, hey, where did you, where did you study? study? Yeah, where did you study? Where did you study? No, high school. Uh, university. Oh, no, not high school, the university. The university. Mm -hmm. Hmm? I what? Where? In the half from here in Mexico City and the other half in Madrid. Okay, okay. So what did you study? What? Administration. Okay. So these are the questions. Where what? and what? People say, what is your major? Yeah. Your major. Or they say, what did you study? Mm -hmm. What is your major? Major. Okay, you see, no questions about religion. No questions about age. Politics. Uh, no, no <laughs> politics. And no questions about the marital status. So, the first question. What is the topic? Talk about the weather. Right? For question, put in your notebook. You said, what do you think? You can say, how, how do you like? How do you like the weather? How do you like the weather in Cabo? I think I have a hotel. Open your uh, your Bluetooth. Open your Bluetooth. And accept this doc, this PDF. Click accept. My hope is here. Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, yeah. Go to the page 8 on this. Oh, it's not ready? Yeah. Almost. Go to page 8. Mm 
and look at question number three and question number five. Section three, and then the questions. It's one, two, three, and five. Go to page eight mm -hmm. in the PDF. No, in the PDF. No, in the book. In your page eight. You see up, up? What page is this? One, two, three. Is this one? Yeah. You see one. You see the page right here. Look. Uh, two. Go to eight. Okay. You see all those questions? Mm -hmm. What is the first one? Is this your first trip to Peru? Okay. The next one. The next one. Three. Number three. How are you in my next or next? Oh, okay. How do you like the weather? Weather. How do you like the weather? On the on the island. On the island. But this is not an island, so here you say in Cabo. How do you like the weather in Cabo? In the next one. What's next next? What's the weather like in your country? That's two questions for the weather. These are called small talk questions. Small talk is to make a conversation with your clients. Okay, so we have the questions about the weather. Mm -hmm. Next is talk about your what you do for a living. What you do for a living, people only say, what do you do? But you can say with your clients, what do you do back home? What do you do back home? Back at home or back home. Mm -hmm. so your clients are tourists, right? They're not from here. What do you do back home? Repeat. What do you do back home? Back home. And then, what if I tell you, oh, uh, I'm, a, I'm a civil engineer. How can you ask me what my job involves? What is a good question to ask? Mm. Hey, what do you do back home? Oh, I'm a civil engineer. And then, what do you ask? What is your question? What? Yeah, but uh, the question, how can you ask? You make the question. What they, what they do for a living? This is the first one. Mm -hmm. Hey, what do you do for a living? What do you do back home? Oh, I'm a civil engineer. Oh, okay. And then what my job involves. What is a good question for job involves? Your, what is your major? What is your ma Oh, no, that's for study. That's in the university. No, for the job involves. Mm -hmm. You can ask, oh, what? responsibilities do you have responsibilities or what does that entail what does that entail the civil engineer that that is the 
the job, right? Whatever they say. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm a civil civil engineer. For example, like this. Civil engineer. Civil engineer. Oh, okay, but I don't know. So you say, what does that, or what does civil engineer and tell? This is a tell. And tell. Like, what does that include? Or what is that about? Oh, what does that job, that job entail? What does that entail? And they, they can tell you the responsibilities that it involves. Okay, next, next topic is the jobs you did in the past. What is a good question? We need a question. For the jobs you did in the past. Mm -hmm. What do people ask when you go for a job interview? How and did you feel before this job? Yeah. yeah, and what is that called? The jobs in the past? What is that the name for the jobs you have in the past? when you go to the job interview. They say, hey, what is your, do you have, do you have what? Do you have, and there, huh? Experience. So you can, can you make a question like this with experience? Okay, that's good. Experience. But experience is not countable. You cannot say experiences. Different experiences, yeah. Disneyland and then going to Paris is a different experience, right? But the experience in the past is only one. It's uncountable. Experience. Good. The jobs or your experience? What experience do you have? Excellent. Now you can ask, what was your major in college? What was your major in college? This is about your education. What was your major? Obviously in college. What was your major? In your hometown, well, that's easy. Where are you from? And that's it. Where are you from? And it's your hometown. Okay, now you're going to do small talk to me. Ready? And you're going to follow your, uh, your chart. That's called a chart. So you follow first, second. So the first one is about the weather. And then... And then what is that? And then your experience, and then your hometown, and then your education. Okay, ready? Like, I am a new, or I'm talking, you're talking to someone you don't know. So you don't know me. Ready? Only the first one? Or? 
like a uh, normal, like natural. <laughs> Ready? Welcome, Victor. To welcome to Cabo San Lucas. Uh, what did you see about the weather in Cabo? Oh, I think it's a little chilly. Uh, why? What's the weather like in your country? And uh, where where I live, it's really really hot. It's it's uh we have real we have the real sun. This is nothing. <laughs> where do you live? Uh, in the Arizona desert. Okay. And what did you do back at home? Oh, back at home, I work for the police department. Um, I'm a police officer, so I go around the neighborhood. I try to get to know the uh, residents. And my priority is to protect uh, businesses and protect property. That's I, I protect the businesses and I protect the property, you know, like, uh, like uh, houses, residences and businesses, the people. Yeah. <laughs> um, I um, what experience did you have in the past? Okay, this question is not no, good. No. Because <laughs> because it sounds like uh like you wanna you're asking me about uh my vacations, for example. Oh, yeah, last year, Hawaii, and then Jamaica. This is my experiences. Now, what, what experience do you have from the past? Or what experience do you have other than the police? So now, see, so you're asking, oh, okay. It's asking about experience my job, but not this job the past what experience do you have about the job so what experience do you have from past jobs what experiences do you have from the past jobs only one experience experience, experience. you cannot count experience like information do you say hey can i have the information or can I have the monies or the times? Time, money, information, experience, uncountable. What, uh, also you need to say, what kind of experience do you have? This is the classic question. What kind of? Kind of? Kinda. What kind of, what kind of experience do you have? Oh, in the past, I was uh, in the army. I was a soldier. And before that, I worked at McDonald's. So I only know the army and the police. That's, okay. <laughs> that's my past experience. I didn't go to college. I went to Iraq in the army. When I was 17, I finished high school and I went to the army. All my friends went to college. I went to the army. So in the army, I was a, a special something technician. <laughs> I don't know. 
They're like, los ponen a ser like uh, technicians, son técnicos. In the army, I was a technician. But I didn't go to college. I went to the army. Mm. Not me, the, the people that go to the army, <laughs> they, don't, they don't go to college. So no major. No, uh, why? Where did you from? Oh, um. Uh, you, you like, you live in Arizona? Yeah, all my life. My hometown is uh, Zuma, Arizona. Zuma, or Zima? Zuma. Zuma, Arizona. And uh, I was born there, and I went to high school there, and then I went to the army. So you see, that's my hometown, hometown. Next. Yeah. Finished? Oh yeah, education, hometown. Good, excellent. Okay, please go to Google for homework and Google a question. Put interview question, past experience. And you need to look at the questions, the questions for past experience, not the answers, the questions to ask somebody about their experience. Mm -hmm. What kind of experience do you have? And the next question is interview question for like job interview but the where are you from question or hometown in this one you need to study the answer hometown? yeah the where are you from hometown mm -hmm. this one you need the answer for you because you have a crazy where are you from uh, answer so, so you need to Look for the answer so you can say, oh, originally, originally I was born in Monterey, but I'm from a military family, so we moved around a lot, moved around. So you need to practice words like originally, originally. It's like, you know, originally, the first one, you know, the first one. And then moved, moved around, moved around a lot. And you can say my father was in the military or I'm from a military family. Or my father or my mother was in the military. Or we are a military family. Everybody knows the military families move around a lot. Move around. This means move house. Move over there, over there. Move around. Originally moved around. Uh, and then finally settle, settle in. Settle in. S-E-T-T-L-E. -T -T -E, settle. Settle, settle in for 10 years in Mexico City. So finally settled in Mexico City for, uh, for school, right? Middle school, high school, elementary school. So for your, when people ask you if you wanna, if you wanna be honest, you have to say some vocabulary like this, this three. Originally, originally, this means Monterrey, for example. And next, moved around. Moved around. Military dad. 
and you know relax this means like relax settle in means okay we stay here for more than two years or more than one year for example I originally I was born originally in Monterey but we moved around a lot we moved to Oaxaca, to Guadalajara, to Puebla, to Mexico City because my dad, I have a military dad. My dad is in the military. But finally, when I was like uh, seven or eight, we settled in Mexico City for 10 years. Okay? So for homework, you look for the questions for experience and the difficult where are you from question. This is the difficult where are you from question for you. And then you answer the small talk in your notebook, the questions and the answers like I ask you. For example, first, hey, how do you like the weather in Cabo? You answer the question in writing in your notebook. Oh, um, what do you do for a living? You answer in your notebook, your answer. Oh, really? What does that entail? What is that events? What do you do in the events? You answer. And what experience, what kind of experience do you have in the past? And what was your major in college, your education? And where are you from? Where is your hometown? All these questions for the small talk, you give me the answers. So you need this. If you need help, Google difficult where are you from question. And the other question is a difficult experience. You need to look at the questions so you can understand experience is only one, for example. Just look at the questions for the interview. Maybe it will help you to make your question better. Okay, do you have any questions? Okay, that's it for today. When is your next class? Wednesday. Wednesday, what time? Six at the same time? Okay, perfect. So Wednesday, bring your answers for the small talk and bring your questions. So you have really good questions and really good answers for small talk. Okay, that's everything for today. Any questions? All right, thank you. Did you do your reading every day? <laughs> okay. I don't know about your answer. You don't seem very honest. No, I mean, it's your face is not. I have my notes. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, your vocabulary notes? Ah, okay. Good. Every day, okay? Okay. Reading? Okay, see you Wednesday. Thank you. Bye. Bye.